Hi, I'm Caitlin, and this is Book Chats, and welcome to Nonfiction November. I am so excited about this event and this month, guys. I love nonfiction. I read a bit of it, although I don't always talk about it here on my channel. And so this month is a perfect excuse for me to talk to you guys more about nonfiction. And I thought I would start with a series of videos that are just recommendations for nonfiction. Today, I'm going to recommend to you guys my absolute favorite nonfiction author, and that is Laura Hillenbrand. Laura is a great and easy a nonfiction author to start with for a couple of reasons. One is that she only has two published works and I'm not sure we'll ever get another book length work from her. Laura Helen Brandt has chronic fatigue syndrome, so it takes her a very long time to write. These two are so good and so wonderful that she is my favorite and if she ever publishes anything else I will definitely be there to read it. The more general interest of her works is Unbroken, which is a biography of Louis Zamperini, who was an Olympian and a World War II POW. Hi, this is Caitlin, just correcting a mistake that Caitlin of the past made in not mentioning that this book definitely, definitely, definitely has triggers and you should definitely look them up if you need to. I want to put out a blanket warning for all of my nonfiction recommendations in that I am bad about paying attention to potential triggers in nonfiction. I don't remember all of the specifics, but in this book in particular, there is definitely descriptions of torture and that should not be taken lightly and you should definitely look up any reviews that have trigger warnings if you're concerned about that. And you can also feel free to contact me personally. I haven't read the book in the last few years but I do own a copy and I can look things up if you need me to. Look up the triggers for this book if you think you need to. So the reason I love Laura Hillenbrand is that she writes so in such a compelling way. She could make even a less interesting topic interesting to me, but the person she writes about here, Louis Zambrini, has a really fascinating, very interesting life. And the way that Laura writes about him just brings it all to life. This book reads a lot more like a novel than you would expect. It's definitely what I think of as a paragon of narrative nonfiction. You feel totally immersed in this world. And I was so engrossed in what would happen and wanting to know what happened next that the first time I read this book, I read it in about three days, which for nonfiction is incredibly fast. It just has um, such a strong voice that it's told in and you just feel like it's such a compelling story that it's absolutely worth reading. I highly recommend this book if you have any interest at all in World War II, in war stories, in kind of Olympians, or if you're just willing to try something new. This just has such a general interest tack to it that this is almost always what I recommend people read first. And I should also mention that if you saw the movie that was based on this book, don't think that you know everything that happens. The movie actually ends about a two thirds of the way into the book and doesn't even cover the last kind of third of the book which deals mostly with Zamperini adjusting back to life and his adult life after his time in the war um, and I think that's a really interesting part of the story and I know that the movie was already too long and so they felt like they had to cut all of that but this book reading it it will not feel too long it will feel interesting and compelling and I think it's significant he's not able to just magically go back to life as it was before and it kind of takes you through that and it's pretty remarkable so I highly recommend Unbroken and after you've read and enjoyed Unbroken or if you just really like this subject better, I recommend you pick up Sea Biscuit, an American legend, also by Laura Helen Brand. I think a great story to explain this book is that uh, after I gave my dad Unbroken as a gift for Christmas, uh, and he was like, that was so good, I handed him my copy of Sea Biscuit, and he read it, and he came back to me, and he said, the writing in this is so good that she makes me care about horses, and I don't care about horses. Laura Helen Brand writes in such a way that even if you have no familiarity with racing, with racing culture, with horses, with any kind of of any kind of um, like horse professional sports in America, you will be interested in this book. You'll be interested in the story that's being told. Seabiscuit, who kind of seemed like he was an underdog and the way that he kind of became this huge success and his kind of underdog jockey and all of the people in and out of the story in his life. And it is such a 
great and fascinating and interesting story and it's worth reading because of the way that Laura Hill and Brand writes it. It's so interesting because she actually got her start writing about horses and she has some like shorter pieces about horses. Um, and then Seabiscuit was her first book, but Seabiscuit was big on the West Coast racing circuit. And while she was researching for this novel, she kept seeing articles about Louis Zamberini, who lived in California, winning like foot races and track events. And that's how she got interested in his story. So I think it's just fascinating that the connection between this book and this book, apart from the author, is that they were in the same newspapers at the same time. I just love that story. I think it's fascinating. And I think it really speaks to the way that Helen Brand really pours so much into the research she does for these books. And then she writes so well. It's one of the reasons that it takes her so incredibly long to write. So if you you have never gotten into nonfiction, or if you feel like nonfiction is just a boring chore, or you just prefer kind of a narrative take on things, I highly recommend you check out narrative nonfiction, and particularly that you start with the work of Laura Helen Brandt. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you've read either of these books, or if after watching this video you choose to read either of these books. I am always wanting more people to gush about Helen Brandt's writing with. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.